General Manager for Asphalt Botswana. Asphalt Botswana is a 100% citizen-owned company. My name is Payas Mpatiwa. I'm the operations manager for Asphalt Botswana. And uh, Asphalt Botswana is a civil engineering consulting company that was established in uh, May 1987. And uh, from, from its inception, it was basically more to do with uh, road servicing works as a specialist uh, contractor in that area. But as the years evolved, um, the company took in other components of civil engineering other than uh, road construction and uh, road surfacing. We have um, asphalt plants in um, Francistown, in um, Gaborone, specifically um, Mokalodi. Uh, and then we have mobile plants to wherever there's uh, big contracts or larger contracts, we set up a plant on site. business is actually production of asphalt and uh, uh, at the moment we have about uh, five asphalt uh, mixing plants which are capable of um, producing about uh, 60,000 tons of asphalt in a month. The client would have given us uh, the, the type of mix that he wants, he would have specified the mix that he wants. Uh, there are so many different types of, uh, of asphalt and then the one that the, that particular client has specified what we do is we start from the laboratory where now we come up with the mixing proportions in what we call a mix design to check performance of the asphalt that he's looking for and if it calls for advice we advise the client to say but you know the asphalt that you have um, you have um, specified uh, we need to modify it here and there because of this and that reason so we just have a technical meeting with the client and fortunately most of our clients are informed clients they are aware of what we are doing now we start from uh, testing the raw materials being the aggregates quarry aggregates and then there is bitumen bitumen comes with a um, quality certificate from the manufacturer or from the supplier. Asphalt Botswana is actually more than asphalt though. Um, from beginnings of just being an asphalt concrete supplier, we now are able to do full earthworks infrastructure, um, which includes roads, water reticulation, sewer reticulation, uh, stormwater. Um, we currently undertaking projects for water utility corporation, pipelines, and expanding our offering um, even more so to become one of the major construction companies in Botswana. Currently as operations manager, I'm responsible for the projects that are being undertaken by Asphalt Botswana. And uh, the key projects that we've undertaken to date include the surfacing of the dualization of Abrone Boate Road, which was done by Triple C in joint venture with the China State Consulting Company. The value of the surfacing works was uh, 64 million, and it was uh, done um, and completed on, on time and uh, to specification. And as you speak, the road is, is, is in use at the moment. The other um, project that we undertook that is of uh, paramount importance in terms of the portfolio of the company was the recently completed Debate Machanian project, 
which is a 130 kilometer project and it was done in joint venture with the excavator which was excavator hire um, for the value of over 512 million pula and the project was done within time and budget and uh, the duration of the project was 30 months and as we speak it's now in operation and uh, uh, it, it is meeting all the requirements of expected of the project. Currently, we we have a project on the three great separated intersections. That is a World Bank funded project in Kaburoni. Um, the intersections are for the intersection commonly known as Game City, BTV, and uh, Block Five uh, intersection or rainbow intersection. Our contribution in the project is on the surfacing works and so far in terms of the traffic accommodation the surfacing works have been done and currently we are in the process of finishing off on the approaches and uh, very soon we'll be doing even the bridge decks to, to complete the project. The project uh, component in terms of the input from Marshall Contralent is about 24 million and um, like I said, it's, it's between all those three intersections. But as far as it is now, the, the works are progressing quite well. We are supplying what we call continuously graded asphalt. It's a medium one, which is consists of two aggregates being the 9.5 millimeter road stone and the kasha dust. Now what happens is that after they pass and after mixed design, now we come into the production in the asphalt mixing plant. And uh, we take that material from the, the, the quarry as we have specified to the quarry. So the quarry produces what we have specified to them. And uh, we take this material into what we call cold beans. Some people call them hoppers. Now in the cold beans, what happens, the loader will be loading into the cold beans. The cold beans then each cold beam has its own conveyor belt, which will release the material into the collector belt. Then the collector belt will then release that material into the inclined belt, which will take the material into the mixing drum. Now in the mixing drum, there are some processes that do happen. Uh, there is heat in there. We heat our aggregates to 150 degrees Celsius, and then the other thing that is happening there is drying. The drum is also drying the material because we want it completely dry before we mix it with the, with the bitumen. And then it gets mixed with the bitumen and then that, that mixing continues uh, for, for some time. And then the mixed and homogeneous asphalt is then released into the skip. Then the skip will then take the material into the into the silo, the silo then will release the material into the truck. Now the silo has a capacity of uh, about 30 tons. Uh, we can store that material into that silo, 30 tons of, of, of asphalt into the silo. And the silo is capable of keeping that temperature for the next 24 hours, meaning that we can, uh, we can uh, pre mix and then the following day we just load that 30 ton into into the truck and then it goes to site now after loading into the truck the mix will then the asphalt mix then will go to the weighing bridge where we weigh the whole material and then we remember we would have pre-weighed the the truck when it was empty then we we wait when it is loaded, now the net mass will be that of the asphalt. Then we take it to site with a weigh bill to, for the client to see. Apart from roads, the other important project that we are currently undertaking is the connection of Chopong South Villages water supply project and uh, the project is value is about 212 million and we are doing it in, in, in joint venture with uh, China Geo Engineering 
and uh, our component under the project was 30% of the project. It was mainly from the takeoff in Mahalape up to Shakwe. And uh, the project, in terms of our input, should be completed by the end of this month. The other water supply project that we are involved in was the Nyungwe to the Shoma uh, pipeline in joint venture with the Zongan Engineering Company. And our component in the project was to do the pipeline from the Shoma all the way up to the uptake at the BDF. Uh, elevated tanks in, in the Shoma. We have so far completed the project and the project has been handed over. And our contribution in the project was to the tune of 64 million, um, which we have completed and the project has been commissioned and it's now in operation as we speak. In terms of other um, operational projects that we've been doing that we would consider to be um, maintenance projects for the Department of Roads include the Mahalape Machanian project, which was completed in, uh, which is an asphalt overlay, which was completed in 2021. And uh, currently we are doing the asphalt overlay of Sorue Palape project, which is a 16 month project at the value of uh, 67 million pula. As we speak, we are about 70% complete on the project. The project started in um, September of 2021 and expected to complete in November 2022. But in terms of the progress that we have achieved so far, we are hopeful that despite having the project as 16 months, we should be able to complete it in uh, 12 months. It, it goes to show the commitment that we have in terms of trying to complete projects on time and within schedule. Generally, in terms of the clientele that we have, mostly it's government departments uh, through the Department of Roads and uh, their respective districts and town councils. And we have uh, in the city of Haburoni carried out uh, quite a number of asphalt overlays in terms of the maintenance of uh, roads for, for the city council. And so far in terms of uh, road servicing works, uh, we, we are considered to be the mainstay and the, the, the people to go to or the company to go to in terms of uh, road servicing. And, uh, our works uh, speak for themselves. The other monumental project that we have undertaken and successfully completed is the asphalt overlay of the Mohembo Bridge. Mohembo Bridge is a bridge over the Okavango River and uh, the design of that bridge is a masterpiece and we are very much excited to have participated in that project. Um, I think in terms of the project scope, those are the areas that we concentrated on. There are basically three types of uh, products that we are currently engaged in in road surfacing works, being the chip and spray, the asphalt overlay, and we have recently launched the production of uh, cold mix asphalt, which is going to be used for basically your normal road patch works and uh, temporary works before the main works are incorporated. We have quite done quite a number of uh, surfacing projects for the private sector. If I can just name a few, we have done the surfacing of the game city, um, parking area, the whole of it. We did the uh, airport junction that uh, more that was recently completed. We, we did the river walk uh, shopping complex uh, road surface in works. And also of late, we completed the Akaijia Mall in Pakalani for the road surface in works. So in, in, in terms of uh, road surface in works, we do what you would call the asphalt surfacing which is a smoother surfacing of the roadworks 
and also the surface you will start to call the chip and spray. And of those, we have done quite a substantial number from, from 1987 to date. If I can just mention a few, we did uh, Sorowe Mashoro Road, we did uh, Sorowe Orapa Road, we did Francis Tan Orapa, and uh, we've done Nata Kasani, we've done a portion of the Nata Mount Road in terms of uh, maintenance works on, in, in that area. The mix is coming here, but uh, the temperature is on the margins. Then we, we we adjust the temperatures. Whatever they want us to adjust, we adjust. But adjustments are made within the specifications. We don't go away from the specifications. Sometimes we make ad adjustments for workability on site. That's exactly what we do in Asphalt Botswana. Well. And we always guarantee and we have always done uh, quality work according to the specifications and according to our client's uh, satisfaction. So basically in terms of uh, road surfacing works, I think that um, in terms of competition, I don't think we have that competition as much. But all the same, we because it's an open market economy, we don't just get the jobs up front. We have to tender for the jobs and we make sure that we give the correct prices and the, we make sure that we, we, we get continuity in getting awards due to the product quality that we provide for our clients. And uh, over the years, uh, the, our clientele has grown to the extent that we are even anticipating venturing outside the country because we feel that we can be able to compete internationally with the amount of plant and the equipment as well as the experience that we have amassed uh, over the years. I think that is a brief overview that I can give in terms of projects. There are quite a number of projects that we have tendered for and other smaller projects that we are currently involved in. and. Um, we have also participated in the tender which we hope will be awarded soon on the Mohodi Tanya Habani Mohodi dualization uh, which project we anticipate will be close to about 2 billion billion in terms of value and uh, if that project is to come through we really have uh, made a significant contribution. Beyond that we are also doing uh, other things, um, from an environmental point of view, we are starting to um, uh, take our oils and um, uh, clean them and, and reuse them. Uh, so recycling of old oils, and we use that in our, our burning um, plants. Um, further than that, Asphalt Boswana continues to look for opportunities um, that so that we can bring more um, work into Botswana or more offering that can allow more employment for, for locals. Um, and on that point, um, we previously would have expertise come in from, um, from other countries. We were able to um, upskill uh, locals and now currently all our plants are run by uh, um, local citizens um, and that is our our goal is to 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 build mentor and upskill the um, citizens of Botswana the Botswana to to actually take this this company and take it further and grow it further so um, welcome to Asphalt Botswana, to say, more than just asphalt.